You just had a birthday party, blew out the candles, checked yourself in the mirror the next morning, and somehow you look exactly the same but feel like something's different under the surface. Ever wonder why two people the same age can look 10 years apart? And it's not just about genetics or expensive face creams. Today, I'll explain how sugar ages you faster than time itself. By the end, you'll understand why that daily soda habit might be doing more damage than smoking, plus the exact timing strategies that let you keep dessert without destroying your body from the inside out. Here's what nobody tells you about sugar. It's not just empty calories you can burn off at spin class. When sugar enters your bloodstream, some of it literally sticks to proteins in your body through a process called glycation. Think of it like bread browning in a toaster. That's basically happening to your collagen and blood vessels right now. These damaged proteins get stiff and dysfunctional, like leather left in the sun. Your skin loses elasticity. Your arteries get rigid. Your joints creak. And here's the payoff that changes everything. This happens whether you're overweight or not. You can be skinny, hit the gym five days a week, and still be aging faster on the inside because of what sugar is doing at a molecular level. The scale isn't measuring what matters. Most people think sugar is a weight problem. Like if the scale says you're fine, you're fine. That's not how this works. Glycation doesn't care about your BMI or how many likes your beach photos get. It cares about how much sugar is floating around in your bloodstream and how long it stays there. Every time your blood sugar spikes, you're essentially caramelizing your insides. This is why some marathon runners drop dead of heart attacks at 45, while some overweight people live to 90. External appearance tells you almost nothing about internal damage. Now here's where it gets wild. The worst culprit isn't the birthday cake you eat once a year or the cookie you grab at the office party. It's liquid sugar, soda, juice, those fancy coffee drinks with more sugar than a candy bar, even the green smoothie you convinced yourself was healthy because it had kale in it. When you drink sugar, it bypasses the normal digestive process and hits your bloodstream like a freight train. No fiber to slow it down. No chewing to give your body a heads up. Just pure glucose slamming into your system all at once. Here's the payoff. This rapid spike means more sugar is available to stick to proteins, creating more glycation damage in a shorter time than eating the exact same amount of sugar in solid form. A soda does 10 times the aging damage of a cookie with identical sugar content, purely because of speed. But wait, and this next part explains why your stress eating habit is aging you faster than anything else you do. Eating sugar when you're stressed multiplies the damage exponentially. When you're stressed, your body releases cortisol, which keeps your blood sugar elevated longer because your ancient caveman brain thinks you need energy to fight a tiger. Except you're not fighting a tiger. You're sitting in traffic or answering passive-aggressive emails. So that donut you stress ate during your morning meeting, the sugar stayed in your bloodstream way longer than it normally would have, giving it extra time to glue itself to your proteins. Here's what this means. The same donut eaten while relaxed causes maybe 20 minutes of glycation damage. But eaten while stressed, that damage window extends to two or three hours. You basically gave sugar a VIP pass to wreck your insides because cortisol held the door open. This matters to you because we've been sold the wrong story about sugar for decades. The entire conversation has been about calories and weight gain. Like sugar is just fuel you need to burn off at the gym. But glycation isn't something you can exercise away. You can't do enough burpees to unstick sugar from your collagen. The damage is happening at a structural level, changing how your body actually functions as you age. That's why some 70-year-olds look and move like they're 50, while some 40-year-olds already look weathered and exhausted. It's decades of accumulated glycation damage showing up in their skin, their joints, their energy levels. The visual age gap you see between people is largely a sugar damage gap. So what do you actually do with this information without becoming miserable? Don't quit sugar entirely. That's not realistic and you'll just feel resentful until you cave and eat an entire sleeve of Oreos at two in the morning. Instead, change the rules of engagement based on the three damage multipliers we just covered. Never drink your sugar, ever. That soda, that juice, that bottled smoothie. It's liquid aging in a convenient portable container. If you want something sweet, Eat it in solid form, so your body has time to process it slowly. This one change alone can cut your glycation damage by 60% without giving up a single dessert. Second rule, never eat sugar on an empty stomach. If you're going to have dessert, have it after a meal with protein and fat, 
not as a mid-afternoon snack when your blood sugar is already low. Here's the hack that actually works. Always pair carbs with protein and fat. This slows down how fast sugar enters your bloodstream, dramatically reducing the glycation spike. A cookie by itself? Glycation bomb. That same cookie after a steak dinner with vegetables and butter? Your blood sugar barely notices because the protein and fat act like a buffer. This one change can cut your remaining glycation damage in half without giving up anything you actually enjoy. Third rule, avoid sugar when you're already stressed. When you've had a terrible day and you're tempted to face plant into a pint of ice cream, that's literally the worst possible time to do it. Your cortisol is already elevated, which means that sugar will stick around longer and cause more damage than it would on a normal day. If you need comfort food after a brutal meeting, reach for something with protein and fat instead. Cheese, nuts, dark chocolate, even leftover pizza is better than pure sugar when cortisol is running the show. Save the sweet stuff for when you're actually relaxed and your body can handle it. The same dessert causes three times more aging when eaten stressed versus relaxed. The goal here isn't perfection. It's damage control based on understanding the actual mechanics. You're not trying to live like a monk who only eats unseasoned chicken breast. You're trying to understand the mechanics so you can make smarter choices when it actually matters. Think of glycation like sun damage to your skin. A little bit here and there won't kill you, but chronic, unprotected exposure adds up over decades. You can still have cake at your niece's birthday party. You just don't need to wash it down with a Coke while checking your work email. Strategic timing beats total restriction every single time. Here's something wild that ties this all together. The difference between someone who ages well and someone who doesn't often comes down to just these three rules applied consistently. Not perfectly, but consistently. The person who looks amazing at 60 isn't avoiding sugar entirely. They're just never drinking it, never eating it alone, and never stress eating it during cortisol spikes. That's the entire secret. Three simple boundaries that protect you from glycation damage. Meanwhile, the person who looks terrible at 40 is probably doing all three wrong most days. Same genetics, completely different aging trajectory based purely on sugar timing. To recap, sugar doesn't just make you gain weight. It chemically alters your proteins through glycation, making your skin, blood vessels, and organs stiffer and older over time. Liquid sugar is the worst because it spikes your blood sugar faster causing exponentially more glycation. Eating sugar when you're stressed causes even more damage because cortisol keeps your blood sugar elevated longer. The solution isn't quitting sugar entirely. It's following three rules that cut glycation damage by up to 80%. Never drink it. Never eat it alone on an empty stomach. And avoid it completely when you're already stressed. These three boundaries let you keep dessert while protecting how you age. So here's the real question. Knowing what you know now about how sugar literally changes your body at a molecular level, which of these three rules will be hardest for you to follow? And what's your biggest obstacle to making it stick? Drop your answer below because I guarantee someone else is struggling with the exact same thing and your comment might be exactly what they need to hear.